<laughs> Hello and welcome to the People's Third Sims Check and Sims Package Update as of January 25th, 2021. Well, I've actually had some feedback about this whole new Biden thing about the Keystone Pipeline. I've done a little bit of research on it just to find out why Biden shut it down. Well, to start off with, Trump signed an illegal order to put the Keystone Pipeline through protected Native American land. That is the reason why Biden stopped that, because we can't go through protective, protected Native American land without their permission. As far as job loss, people are saying about 50 to 80,000 jobs were lost. Well, technically they're wrong. I did the research on that, and it's anywhere from 3,000 or a little bit more employees who lose their jobs. But they're not really jobs because they're just temporary workers. That's, I mean, that's how the Department of Labor actually defines that is if they don't have, it's not a full time, it's not a year round job, it's not really a job, it's just a temporary gig. It's what they consider it as. And as far as the money loss goes, so in millions is not billions. And also don't forget that the eviction protections expire on March 31st of this year. He also signed an executive order to allow transgenders to be part of the military. And the federal minimum wage is going up to $15 an hour for the federal employees only. But for the national minimum wage to go up, it take an act of Congress. I do mean an act of Congress. Treasury Secretary... Jim Sackey said that the Treasury Department is reviving the Obama-era effect to replace Andrew Jackson on the $20 bill with Harriet Tubman. And on a stimulus update, yesterday, the bipartisan group, Joe Manchin, Mitt Romney, Lisa Murkowski, and others basically said no to uh, Biden's stimulus plan. Let's see here. They rejected it because... They're claiming it provides too much money to high-income Americans. This echoes Mitch McConnell's claim about the $2,000 stimulus plan is socialism for the rich because people making over $200,000 or even over $300,000, they can still get some sort of stimulus check. I grant you not the full $2,000 stimulus check, but they'd get something. Susan Collins said that the focus should be on the lower income workers and then went on to say the payment should be more targeted she said she also said that uh well you know i'll just show you what she said about that And Joe Biden said that he would be willing to negotiate the income threshold to be eligible for those two thousand dollars stimulus checks. Biden did say he was open to the um, Reconciliation Act. He made that pleasant, very blatantly clear on, in a press conference today. Senator King did say the Biden administration was open to input from the bipartisan committee. That's actually a pretty good thing. Okay, and talking about Congress. Uh, Mitch McConnell is demanding that Chuck Schumer preserves the legislative filibuster. And, of course, he does not, he can forget about, or else he, sorry, my writing sort of sucks, so sorry. Or if, he, if Chuck Schumer doesn't preserve the legislative filibuster, Mitch McConnell basically says that he can forget about any cooperation from the Senate Republicans. And this comes at a pretty bad time because, um... It also means that they will not be agreeing to the organizing resolution. What is that, you may ask? Well, I actually looked it up for you, so I'll tell you. Um, well, at the beginning of a new Congress, the Senate uh, adopts an organization res a resolution listing committee ratios, committee members, and other agreements between the parties on an operation of Senate. This all committee uh, business is actually a very important thing in Congress. And the reason being is because everything starts in a committee. So right now, it's a big mess. 
and the Senate in the Senate basically because the old committees are still where they're at and not reassigned. In other political news, Republican Senator Rob Portman announced that he is not going up for re-election in 2020. So basically, there will be an open Senate seat in Ohio. So hey, maybe we can get lucky and get another Democrat on our side. Wouldn't that be nice? But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. I will broadcast again to you when I have some more information that you will find relevant. Until then, have a wonderful evening. Thank you.